Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Anna Von Hauswolf album, Dead Magic. This is the fourth full-length album from Swedish organist, composer, singer, songwriter, Anna Von Hauswolf, whose career I've been following kind of casually since her 2012 album Ceremony, and I still found her music pretty compelling even though there were some, some obvious shortcomings for me. The instrumentals maybe weren't active or vivid, or dense enough. The vocals might have felt a little bit too distant, difficult to kind of connect with in any way significantly. Her music felt super abstract but not incredibly fulfilling at times. But still, her records had a lot of characteristics that just continued to haunt me. The very droney and dreamy organscapes, her very eerie singing style. Her music felt mystical and occult and strange, had this very dark and neoclassical kind of gothic aesthetic. Now all of that and more appears on this latest record from Anna, along with some very linear, meditative, experimental rock passages, sometimes sounding a lot like what's been popping up on the three latest Swans albums, but with more of like an orchestral or a classical edge. There are also moments where Anna's music reminds me of that of Julia Holter, but maybe with a more of an edgy and dark and nightmarish sound. I think fans of Jenny Haval would appreciate what Anna is doing here too. And vocally on this album, I occasionally get a Kate Bush vibe, but obviously Anna comes to much different artistic conclusions, is on an entirely different journey, one influenced more by contemporary experimental rock and classical music than Kate Bush could have ever been. Because I kind of get that similarity more from Bush's earlier career, not so much from her later and more, I guess, accessible releases, her bigger releases like Hounds of Love. This album is 47 minutes. It's spread across five tracks. So of course with that ratio you're going to get a few lengthy monsters in the track list here. And each song really kind of has its own progression and feel. The Mysterious Vanishing Electra is one of the somewhat shorter songs in the track list here. It's loaded with these heavy, primal, riffy guitars slogging their way over a patient groove. Orbiting around these riffs are some spacey acoustic guitars and, and they're topped with Anna's howling voice. The intensity of this track just grows higher and higher and higher as it moves along, and if any song on here is kind of like a dead ringer for a track off of Swan's To Be Kind or their last record, The Glowing Man, it's it's this one. The Marble Eye is this very long solo organ piece loaded with these gothic chord progressions and classical arpeggios. It very much adds to the feel of this album as an odyssey, as a journey, because this record is more than just simply a, a set of songs. It's kind of like this tapestry. It's a progression it's like a large experimental thematic music piece with just different movements and sections. Because this very evocative organ odyssey is what brings us into the dreamy ballad that is the closing track. Which while I wasn't impressed with Anna's more subtle vocal approach on this track, I, I much preferred the, the bolder singing she delivered earlier on the album, it's still a very pretty song. My only true disappointment with the track is that I just wish the ending was a bit more built out and solid. The song to me sort of seems to fizzle out of nowhere. I was kind of hoping for a more elongated, drony outro that I could just kind of coast out on. Just send me out to sea for a Viking's burial. Given the track is seven minutes long, I feel like there was plenty of time to possibly build up the outro to this track so it doesn't just end so abruptly, but whatever. I haven't even talked about the two largest and most core tracks to the entire record, which is really where a majority of this album's ambitions lie. There's the 16 minute Ugly and Vengeful, which starts up a lot like a post-rock song, has some Godspeed You Black Emperor vibes right at the intro, I'd say. Just this apocalyptic ambience, eventually a rush of heavy guitars. But what's kind of different in Anna's case, because it's not just some second wave post-rock ripoff, is you have this totally different vocal approach, Obviously a different approach to chord progressions, this organ, this devilish vibe, the emotion of it too. I mean, again, to go back to the singing, Anna's singing on this track for me is transcendental. When she hits those, ah, like those highest, most passionate highs, I feel like I'm being transported into another friggin' dimension. The last leg of the song is kind of like a really weird jammy blend of prog rock and post rock sounds. It's pretty cool. And then there's the intro track, the 12 minute The Truth, The Glow, The Fall, which has a very chilly, moody organ intro. I feel like I'm paralyzed, laying flat, 
in a forest. Leaves are falling on me. I'm deteriorating. I'm just being buried with snow and rain and debris. It also helps that lyrically I'm just catching a lot of nature themes throughout the album too. The middle point of the track eventually builds up some percussion. The instrumentation starts to ascend, build up tension for the final leg of the track that is kind of this very droney, shoegazy layering of guitars and a lot of other instrumentation. It's just gorgeous. There's an aura around it. It's a really blissful. There's an overwhelming fullness and brightness to it. I mean, for such a long track, it does have a very fulfilling finish. And that's pretty much it. Those are the five tracks, which again, come together pretty well as a, as a holistic piece of, of music dead magic. There are some moments where yeah, Anna does kind of wear her influences on her sleeve, and I am left not just with the final track, but just in general wanting more from her and from this record as well, but uh, still I ended up really enjoying what Anna had to offer on this record, and it is hands down easily her best work to date. I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this thing. Transition! Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Just leave a thoughtful comment in the comments if you're feeling full of thoughts over here next to my head. Another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Anna von Hauswolf, forever.